<gasps> oh no, it's too short. All right guys, how often do you hear that? It's too short. Now I have a product that was sent to me that solves this problem. So what I have is a laser distance meter by Sigmin and it is the CD60. So let's go over to the workbench. We'll open this up and see what it, we have. So this is how it comes in this nice simple box. Let's open her up. All right, it has a nice hard case to it. Very sturdy, should keep it nice and safe. Let's zip her open. So this is what it looks like. It comes with a manual. It's a pretty thick manual, but don't be fooled. Only about this much of it is English. The rest is all different languages. So not a lot to read, but it's a pretty simple laser. Uh, on this side here, you have the USB charging cable and it doesn't come with the charging cube for it. I mean, a lot of things nowadays don't come with them. I just got an iPhone 13 about a year ago and it didn't even come with a charging cube. So yeah, I mean, they're pretty common. Everyone's got those kicking around the house, so not a big deal. And then this is the unit itself. I like it. First off impressions of it, it seems to be very well built. It looks like it's an all aluminum housing on it. Doesn't look like there's too much plastic. Oh, the end caps here look like they're plastic and the sides are all aluminum and I don't know what this is, some, some kind of plastic material. But yeah, just five buttons. So let's, uh, let's turn this on and see what we got. So to turn it on, you just press and hold this laser button. And there it is. Now it's really cool because it has a built-in level and it also tells you the degrees that it's at. Now, the cool thing about this laser is, is it has a laser beam that shoots out the top and the bottom, which means you don't have to have this up against a wall in order to measure the length of a room or whatever you're measuring. You can just hold it in the middle of a room, make sure your beam is pointed at both walls and hit the measure button and it'll give you the distance. And you can tell it's gonna use the measure the, out both ends by the arrow on here. Now, if you hit this little button here, it changes it so it's going to shoot it's going to reference off of here now if you want to do it with up against a wall it references off of here and the laser beam shoots out that way the other option is from here to go that way or you can shoot it from the edge of this that way or which i really like is from the middle of here shooting both ways now I really like that feature. So up at the top here, it tells you the degrees for how level it is. So if I change it, you can see those numbers changing. It also has different modes, which we'll get into. So this one right here, it's just set for measuring a distance between two objects. And then you have your battery mode, which I really like. There's no guesswork to know if like, how much battery life you have left. You can tell when you're gonna need to charge it up. And they say, you can run this for four hours, measuring continually, and up to 8,000 measures, I guess, on a, on a charge, so that's pretty good. And also, another cool feature is, if you spin it, the screen rotates. And it goes either way. What if it works that way? Oh yeah, it does. Huh, just learned something new. Very cool. So to go through the different modes, you hit this function button and you can see here, it brings up a window. So right now that is set for measuring a distance. That one there is for measuring the volume of an object or for the square footage. Let's go this way. That is if you're gonna measure the, a wall. Now I gotta look at the manual for exactly what all these are. Yep, so that's for measuring a wall area. That one is for an angle and height measurement. Then that one there is an indirect height measurement. That is a hypotenuse measurement. That one there is a double indirect height measurement. And that is an auxiliary, auxiliary height measurement. And then we're back to just the area measurement. 
So it has lots of features that I am probably never going to use. The one I feel like I'm going to use most for the line work I am is this one here for measuring square footage. Sigmund is calling this a bilateral distance meter. And the reason they call it bilateral is because it has two laser beams that shoot out both ends. And I really like this feature. For instance, if I walk into a house that I have to measure up for hardwood, and there's lots of furniture and I can't exactly get to a wall with my tape measure or I can't exactly get to a wall to shine this to cross to the other wall to get a measurement. I can just stand in the room and shoot a laser beam from end to end and go this way, shoot a laser beam end to end. It adds it up on here and then I can just write that square footage into my notes, go into the next room, do the same. Now, I'll just give you a demonstration how that works. So right now, I'm in the mode for measuring square footage, and I have it set to feet and inches. Now, I forgot to mention, you can change these units to give you them in just inches or just feet. Um, you can change it from, yeah, metric and imperial. So that's, that's pretty cool. So whatever you're used to, you can set it to that. First off, I'm gonna hit my laser button, and it's gonna turn on the laser beams. And I'm just gonna make sure that the beams are both hitting the walls of my shop. There we go. And then you can see, it measured it at 34.84 feet. So then we're gonna hit that laser button again, and it turned the laser beams on, and I'm gonna first show you here. It recorded that measurement, and it put it in the top. So now, we're going to do the same. We're going to make sure that this laser beam is reaching both walls. So there, you can see it measured it at 22 point, sorry, I can't read this, 22.97 feet which is about 800 square feet. That is awesome. So then I could just go to my notepad, write down, say this was the, the living room. It's a big living room. Write down living room, 800 square feet. And I can move on to the kitchen, you know, do the exact same thing. Right. Another cool feature about this laser is that the back of it is magnetic. And it can also stick to metal corner beads right through the drywall. This tape measure, uh, sorry, this laser distance measure is able to do really long distances. They say it can do around 400 feet. To be exact, I think it's like 393 feet. So I'm gonna shoot the distance of my property here. I got a fence there that you can't see and a fence over there, which I'm not sure if you guys could see. But it's really cold out here, so I'm gonna try to make this quick. And, uh, I don't know if this is gonna work. I'm gonna hold it level. I think, I, I think it's hitting the fence, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Oh, burr. Okay. Perfect. That seems about right. I don't know if you guys can see that there, but it says that my property is 103.3 feet wide. Cool. That's a lot quicker to measure this way than putting a tape measure across. So yeah, if you're in the market for a laser distance measure, measure, meter, meter, a laser distance meter, um, yeah, I would highly recommend this one. For, for the value, um, I think it's a, it averages around 80 to $100 on Amazon. Uh, there'll be a link in the description if you'd like to get one of these for yourself. And like always, guys, that's it, and we'll see you in the next one.